Morning, my friends. Let's do a video that I was supposed to do a long time ago. I made that video, The Jewish Supremacy of Eric Weinstein, just to make this video, but I made that video a long time ago. So let's finally make this video where I'm telling you, if you don't understand the Jewish supremacy, you're not really understanding what Jesus Christ is up against. If you understand the Jewish supremacy is what built the Jim Crow community, it also makes World War II a lot more interesting because we're told about Hitler's Aryan race. Well, the Jewish supremacy came first. Was Hitler battling the Jewish supremacy with his Aryan race? You know, there's a lot of um, things going on here. See, you don't view it properly if you don't understand that if Jesus Christ today came up to the Democratic Party, it would be identical to this part in Jesus of Nazareth. So take the blinders off. Um, let's remove some ignorance and let's see how Jesus Christ is solely up against people that believe. They believe that they're oppressed people while their story is, no, we're God's chosen people. No, see, we, we get to enslave everybody. We get to run the show because we claim that we're the victims, so we deserve special treatment. And our special treatment is to be the grand overlords of everyone. You know, the same black supremacy that we live in right now. So let's watch Jesus Christ up against it. And of course, we see all the slander, blackmail, and extortion of the left brain mental illness, which creates a Democrat. John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and you said he was possessed by devils. Here I am. So Jesus Christ, he calls them out on the stupid pieces of shit that they are that just slander, blackmail, and extort everyone. And no one ever says it out loud. So they just kind of, it's the same thing that happens to you. So they just kind of like brush Jesus off like, oh, is it the way that Jesus called us out on our slander, blackmail, and extortion? Isn't it so silly? Oh, Jesus is a big baby that needs to grow up. You know, that's exactly when the narcissistic mental illness will go, oh, that's just life. We're just a bunch of slander, blackmail, and extortion artists, and nobody ever talks about it. And we keep it like our secret as humanity, as we all pretend that we're nice, loving, and kind people. And then Jesus just says the truth. He just says, oh yeah, John the Baptist came along and you um, slandered, blackmailed, and extorted him. So I'm sure that you'll try to act like you're all nice to me. We're all fucking great buddies while you slander, blackmail, extort me, and force me to be in your herd, in your amber herd. Neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and you said he was possessed by devils. Here I am, drinking and eating freely with you. No doubt you'll say I'm a glutton and a drinker. Friend of the tax collectors and the sinners. <laughs> oh, gee, oh, Jesus, the way that you just called us out on all the things that we think are hidden. Oh, Jesus, the way you just called us out on how we all believe that we're these nice, loving, kind, benevolent people that live in a perfect world. And you told us how we're the slander, blackmail, extortion artists that we are. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was so funny. The way that you did that. Grow up, big baby, and get with the slander, blackmail, and extortion, Jesus. Je Jesus, you don't do us any justice, Jesus. We respect your achievements. Oh, this is the, just such a sickening part, isn't it? Oh, Jesus, well, let us blow some smoke up your ass to, to force you to be under our climate change.
Oh, Jesus, we respect your achievements, but at what extent are you willing to compromise? Well, what, what would compromise be to these people? That you have to give up everything and just believe in what they tell you. You have to follow their narrative while you're always afraid to be ostracized. Oh, Jesus, you don't do us any justice. Jesus, but at, but at what extent are you willing to compromise? Yeah, sure. Justice. Yeah, I, I think not. I don't think that we will be doing any fucking compromising here. We respect your achievements, and we understand their importance. But to what extent are you prepared to accept our laws? Guys... Look how important it is. All these years I'm teaching you about this Jewish law of duality and Jesus Christ brings the door. Jesus Christ brings the door of Jesus Christ that is a release from this law. Jesus Christ is here to release us from the law. And what do they tell Jesus Christ? We respect your achievements, and we understand their importance. But to what extent are you prepared to accept our law? Uh, uh, nice people compromise. That what? Um, that would be sacrificing everything. That would be giving up everything to live in the buffoon world of these people of postmodernism, where when they try to arrive at the door of Jesus Christ, they arrive at postmodernism going, everybody's equally guilty and nobody can know who the bad guy is and everybody's so nice, loving, kind, and perfect. That's what Jesus Christ is here to destroy. Exactly what they say. Hey, Jesus, uh, what, what extent are you willing to accept our laws? Uh, compromise is what nice people do. Hey, Jesus, you want to be considered a nice person? Just more their manipulation. Jesus, you want to be considered a nice person? Don't you? Well, compromise is what makes nice... No, compromise is what makes Satanism. Oh, man, it's so hard to figure out why Jesus Christ called everybody a fucking devil. What they think is nice is the most evil shit imaginable. And we understand their importance. But to what extent are you prepared to accept our laws? We hear that you heal the sick on the Sabbath. And then, and then Jesus Christ right here goes, fuck your book smarts. It's about the heart of the law. They do this Old Testament. This is all Old Testament stuff. All this Jewish supremacy, black supremacy. It is all the God of the Old Testament. So they say Old Testament shit, which is book smarts rather than the law of the heart. So they go, Jesus, written in words by our God of the Old Testament, these lifeless dead words that don't make sense and everything's hypocritical, just like our God. Well, if a sheep fell in, a, in the pit, if your own son fell in a pit on the Sabbath, you're, the, old, the God of the Old Testament says that you're just supposed to leave him in there and let him die. And then Jesus Christ goes, does that sound right? Does that your own son falls in a pit and you're supposed to leave him in there to starve to death because you people believe in some fictional Sabbath by your Old Testament dead letter God? Yeah, how offensive the God of the Old Testament and how it's book smarts versus the heart of the law, which is so fucking obvious that if your own son fell in a pit, it doesn't matter if somebody told you, oh, there's the sacred day where we let our own family members starve to death. We let our own family members fall in a pit and die. And that's how we love God. Uh, and Jesus, I, I could imagine could imagine Jesus is thinking, fuck, I'm dealing with some real fucking stupid people here. I'm dealing with some real mentally fucking ill, book smart, dumb fuck, left side brain fucking idiots here. I mean, isn't it obvious that you get your own child out of the pit? Uh, people not to rest them. No, Jesus, we follow the books. Jesus, the book is the authority. And then Jesus says, 
God wants to write the law on your hearts. It's a living word. And they, no, G Jesus, we don't have critical thinking of our own. We don't have brains of our own. We don't have the compass of God ourselves. So when the book says to let our own child die in a pit because we have a special day, well, we just do that. If one of you had a sheep and it fell into a pit on the Sabbath day, wouldn't you go and get it out? But God made the Sabbath for man, not man for the Sabbath. Oh, we understand that. We understand what you're trying to say. But is it not confusing to the other people? Isn't it confusing? More of their left brain climate change manipula- Isn't it confusing to the other people, Jesus, who don't have critical thinking? And then Jesus Christ says, no. Jesus Christ is for everybody. And these people, they say, yeah, but there's stupid people in the world that need to be ruled over. What about them? They don't understand. And Jesus Christ says, no, Jesus Christ is for everybody. No matter how dumb the motherfucker is, Jesus Christ is for everybody. And the Jewish supremacy says, yeah, but those goyim, they're too stupid to run their own lives. They're too stupid. Those stupid Christians, they're too stupid. They need us Jews to rule over them. So what about the other people? And Jesus Christ says, yeah, what do you mean? What do you mean the other people? You mean people you think are too stupid that, that can't learn Jesus Christ for themselves? Jesus Christ says Jesus Christ is for everybody. We understand what you're trying to say. But is it not confusing to the other people? We live by the... We live by the Jewish law of duality, the God of the Old Testament, those two tablets. We are highly hypocritical in everything. We judge one thing against another, and we believe that we're coming to the truth of it, Jesus. You have to understand, we live by the law of Jewish supremacy, believing that we're entitled over everyone while we play the victim at the same time. If we accept the law to be ruled by exceptions, then we are lost. Today, if it hadn't been for the severity that we learned from... Now this, now this, guys, when I made my guitar videos. I, I played a game on everybody. I made my guitar videos on the truth. On there's one single formula. I literally was thinking in my head of this part in Jesus of Nazareth because that's what they're calling dangerous. Um, I do it all the time. When you give people the truth, when you give people personal responsibility in themselves that's what they call dangerous jesus we think your teachings are dangerous because they give people the truth for themselves and personal responsibility and people want to be enslaved which they'd be right yes people don't want the truth people don't want to be responsible for themselves they want to be told what to do and they want to blame some somebody else when something goes wrong we are lost. Today, if it hadn't been for the severity that we learned from Moses, we would not have our laws. We would not even have, we'd not even be a people any longer. But it is the... I know, uh, the excessive rigidity. Jesus, Jesus, your teachings are dangerous. You know, Jesus, when you gave, the, when you gave those guitar players the master formula... When you gave them the cage system and you showed them that there's one single truth, Jesus, we find that to be dangerous. We'd not even be a people any longer. But it is the, the excessive tolerance, the lack of rigidity in your teaching that has made us feel that this is a real danger. The, the, this is the guitar community, guys. This is the guitar community. When you gave us the master formula, when you gave us the truth, when you cut through the confusion, we just wanted to take endless guitar lessons 
and never learn anything and just bullshit about everything and pretend we're in a secret club. We're in the secret guitar players club, the, the club of people that never learn how to play. And we think that that's acceptable somehow. But the lack of rigidity in your teachings, Jesus, when you gave everybody the master formula and then they could do it for themselves, we find that is dangerous. Hold any longer. But it is the, the excessive tolerance, the lack of rigidity in your teaching that has made us feel that this is a real danger. The law! The law gives me security. It gives me the ability to judge one man against another. And then I feel like I'm God itself because it gives me a God complex to use duality in this way. Security. It's a guide to my It's whole. a guide to my whole way of life. This measuring. See, what I do is I give myself a God complex thinking that I'm just weighing everybody's opinions against everybody's opinions. This is all human beings, guys. They have a God complex where they use duality to come out to this conclusion of, I'm the master of the universe. Wait, okay, this person over here had an opinion. And then there's another person that had a take on something, which is an opinion. And then I'm the decider of that. And it gives me a God complex. You know, it's a guide to my whole way of life to give myself this God complex. But if anybody ever gave me the actual truth, see, you can't do the God complex with truth. Truth just ends everything. Truth is just the truth. There's no debating when it comes to the truth because the truth is the truth. This is why the food for human beings is their own opinion so that they can use their guide to their whole way of life. My guide to my whole way of life. I judge one thing against another and it gives me a God complex thinking that I'm the master of the universe. But my kryptonite is the truth because truth doesn't work with my little duality game, my little judgment game. It, it ends it. Truth, truth ends my Jewish law of duality. That this is a real danger. For gold gives me security. It's a guide to my whole way of life. A measure for judging this man is right and this man is wrong. Then, then I feel like I should edit this part out where Jesus Christ says, you should not judge. Because every single human being just uses this backwards. They don't realize that it's the release from duality. It's so far outside their comprehension of what this teaching actually is. And it is so disgraceful that every single human being uses this teaching to further their postmodernism. A, a human being does evil, then they go, do not judge. Uh, it, it, it could be the, uh, the biggest atheist in the fucking world and every single person no matter if they claim to be a christian an atheist even a satanist every single person they do evil then they go remember when jesus christ said do not judge don't judge me on my evil and this teaching had nothing to do with that absolutely nothing to do with human beings justifying their own fucking crimes. And it was about the release from duality itself, so different than what people think this teaching is of do not judge. You should not judge. But, you... but now, now here's where it comes. And they do it so perfect in the movie because Jesus Christ sighs. Here's the part where he goes, but Jesus, you got to, you got to understand we're God's chosen people. Jesus, we're, we're so oppressed. We're the most oppressed people in the world. And we deserve to be the overlords of reality because the Old Testament God says that we're God's chosen people. People. This is how the Jim Crow community is created in the United States by Democrats. And if Jesus Christ came up to the Democratic Party today, it would be the same exact shit. Identically. Nothing 
has changed. Listen to this speech of Jewish supremacy. Did you have earplugs in before? Did, did you have blinders on? Well, let's take the earplugs out and let's take the blinders off and see what's really being done and what's really being said here. As a son of Israel, now that we were chosen by God from all mankind to be the holy nation and for this he gave us our law, the Torah, which is the law of life. And we have to separate ourselves. From uh, the there's the segregation. We got to separate ourselves from the sinners, guys. You know, we're God's chosen people. We need to separate ourselves from the sinners. We'll, we'll own the banking system. We'll all own all the money. Anytime anybody makes money, we get a percentage of it while we just hang out in our secluded Jewish community. Which is the law of life. You, there, there's a big deal, guys, of the tax collectors in Jesus of Nazareth, because anytime anybody makes money on anything, a Jew gets a percentage of the money. This, he gave us our law, the Torah, which is the law of life. And we have to separate ourselves from the sinners and be pure and just. But who is just in the eyes of the Lord? What is the heart of the law? Imagine how difficult this is for Jesus. Uh, these people 100% believe in this shit. They live it. They've constructed all of society out of it. How the fuck could you ever get through to these people? It would be identical to trying to talk to somebody from North Korea with all their mind blocks. Could you imagine trying to tell these people how wrong their Jewish supremacy is? You wouldn't be able to get through to them. Hear, O Israel, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy strength. This is the greatest commandment. You said well. You are not far from the kingdom of God, Joseph of Arimathea. But there is another commandment, no less great. You must love your neighbor as yourself. But who is my neighbor? So let's end it here because if we keep on going, we have to spend a lot of time in the next part of this. Much love to everyone. If you're learning at the Mystery School, please donate because I only survive on your donations. And as you can see, it's not like I make friends in this world. It's not like there's I'm going to have some kind of big audience that donates to me. So I really, really, really appreciate every single person that donates to me, which really isn't many people. So much love to everybody.